Okay, so in this video, we're going to go get all the animations and map it to the skeleton of this character. Uh, and so make sure you get the right name. I believe she was called Amy, uh, but sometimes I forget. So I would make double sure and just go and double check. Yeah, oh, sorry, this one's Pearl and this one has the C46. So you need to remember that because uh, when you map them, if you map the next one, it causes a lot of confusion. So so here is Pearl. And what I've done is I found, a, I wrote head shake because I, I have a few things in mind. And uh, we'll put that in one word. One of the things that came up that was really cool was there was a pack. And I downloaded it. And you can see it. It was a zip here. So click under animations, head shake. And those are two words. Doesn't matter. So here it is, gesture pack. So when I downloaded that one, it brought it down as a zip file. I might want to bring some of those in. You can see what they look like or go and seek them out. Some that I, I thought I want thoughtful head shake, idle, sitting, angry. Since it's a dancing competition, there's quite a few dance moves. I just did a salsa dancing for her. So I have a scene where she's going to do salsa dancing and a running. So maybe... A, some of these are always kind of stand running walking i didn't you know you may want to have that uh you know walking and, and let's see if there's a walking and waving um this one's kind of really interesting and i wanted to show this one here because one thing that i did put this in the handout make sure you click in place so there you know very kind of showing off walk you know, could be very interesting in our in our, our video because there's a rivalry between these two, or in my scene anyways, and it depends how you want to do it. So I click download. And one of the things that's really important, I did this with all the animations, you have to download them without the skin, okay? So uh, just because you'll just bring in the materials over and over, and it'll just take up a lot of room on your hard drive. So it's just simpler if you do that, okay? So bring them in without the skin. So then the next stage is you're going to go to your, uh, your project and I'm going to create one called, I'm going to create a folder. Well, I already did. So Pearl, so materials, and then I'm going to create a folder called animations. So all the animations that are hers were, are going to be in this folder. All right. Just rename that here. It's just auto saving. Uh, so we're going to go rename and I'm going to go animation. Let's just give me a hard time here. I uh, rename M's. Okay. Then I'm going to double click and I'm going to just bring it in for now. You can, well, I think the best way to do it is go to your folder, wherever it is, it has all the animations. And I'm going to actually also open this one and have a look. And I'm going to extract all. And I'll sit inside it and I might bring a few of them in. Uh, quite a few here so you may not want to bring them all in you should again you did plan this ahead of time but i just wanted to show you here some of the animations are in a gesture pack so being cocky dismissing gesture happy hand gesture hard head nod hard yes not you know you could have those in there look away uh, relieved sight sarcastic head you could go and get some but for now, we're going to just keep this simple. You know what you need for your animation, and you can tweak it as you go. And what I want to do is I'm going to use just these that I found. They're what I pretty much need. I'm going to click and drag them. And what I want to do now, and this is really important, you need to go get the skeleton, pearl skeleton, okay? And you need to import it with that. That's really, really important. I'm going to import all. So again, if I didn't uh, click without skin, the materials are going to come in. It's not the end of the world. You'd rather avoid it, though, if you can, just because it takes up less room. And it'll bring them in, and then you'll have to uh, change the skeleton for each one, I believe, and make sure they come in. And one of the things that's important to be aware is you're going to have to do this for the second character as well. And it might be the same animations or some of the same names, but you need to bring them in and use the skeleton of the new uh, or the second model because 
What happens if you don't select the skeleton, they're not animated. That's how they're animated, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick test. So it's very easy. You just drop it in, press F, and, well, it dragged them all in. I only want to drag one in just to test. Thoughtful head shake. Um, so what I'm going to do is just grab one and drag it in. If one works, they'll all work, and I'll have her face me. So as you can see, it's simulated. If ever you don't see that it's simulated, the hotkey is Alt-S, or you could just press play, but Alt-S basically allows you to see or press escape. So then let's press Alt-S, and now you see when I press Alt-S, you can see the animation. So this is what it will look like in your scene. And now one thing I'm not gonna spend too much time on, but it is important, is lighting. You may wanna drop uh, a point light. So if I see here, so look how much nicer that looks when I drop the light in and I'll use the W key um, to, to select the light. A second here. Well, so my light was acting buggy because I was in simulate mode. So I just pressed Alt S or escape. And what you can do is you can place the light where you want and, you know, kind of create uh, light the face a little bit better. And with lighting, as you know, under the details panel, you can lower the intensity, so maybe 8 is a little too much. Let's go with 5, and let's see what that looks like. So I went with 6. Um, and you can lower the, the radius for some reason, you know, like that. You can play around a little bit with these. So whenever you do your scenes, just drop point lights. Uh, there, there are different other things. The point lights, you don't want to use too many, but just to add a little bit of texture, okay? For now, I'm going to remove this light. Uh, since we don't really need it for now. I just want to show you because we are just testing these animations and what we're going to now do is do the same thing. So uh, we're going to create a folder for our other character. Well, we already did Amy and we're going to also create a folder for her animations. And we'll bring them in the same way, uh, but this time we're going to use her skeleton. So Let's just keep this simple. I'll pretend we were using all the same animations. And what I'll do is go to the folder where these are. I'll just drag them in. And this time, I'm going to use the skeleton for, um, for Amy. And I'll just click Import All. And we're going to do a little test. So I brought in the same animations, but I definitely need to probably go get a few different ones. Uh, and the, the, the key thing is ch choosing the skeleton. I'm going to click save all here because as you can see, if the, if the Unreal Engine crashes at this point, I may lose stuff. Uh, let's just go and use sitting anger. Oh, I'll just select one here. Uh, let's use salsa dancing. That would be the coolest one. So there she is. There's something buggy happening here. I only want to bring one in. Press Alt S. Okay, so yeah, something didn't work there. I'm going to have to probably delete these and go get and re-download them using uh, the Mixamo, uh, but only for Amy. So they're probably not the same. So that's that's what happened there. Um, so what, let me just pause that here. Press escape. So I'll delete these. None of them worked. And there's a little bit of that going on all the time. And I'll get rid of that. So I went to Amy, found the same animation. I'm going to download it just for her. Uh, make sure uh, when I downloaded it, it saved it as walking one. So I'm ringing in walking. Now you can always go and just delete all the ones from previous and just download them with nothing else on the computer. But I'll just use the walking one. Uh, I'll just bring one in for now. You can see what the error was. It was causing a conflict because I think it's to be uh, attached to that character. So import. Or actually, what I prefer is, like I, I just showed you guys, I much prefer just dragging it over. Uh, so I'll click walking one. Let's do that again. Drag it in, let go. 
close this and definitely just like i just mentioned we want to use her so c 346 is that skeleton click import now i only brought one animation but you can go get several others and that's do right after this and i'm going to click save all get rid of the star make sure it's okay and we're going to do the test and as you can see uh character looks so uh, that is a little thing i didn't realize that would affect so and if i alt s we're going to see the walking animation that i brought in it's excellent so we're good to go and that is how you do it thank you very much